Hello, I'm Lisa and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you watching my video um, because I only get on here when I am guided to get on here. Um, these are just very raw and real videos because um, I really, it's just my mission to be the light in this world and to help people awaken and help them on their path to ascension and into 5D and I'm really not, I'm not looking for followers <laughs> or anything. I just feel like I'm doing my duty. It's just like my higher self comes down every once in a while and is like, it's time to make a video of this now. So I have agreed to do this, um, but I also have my limitations, which are I will not edit videos or spend a lot of time. I will simply use my, my phone I will get the message across and then I will upload it. Maybe throw a thumbnail on the front, but that's it. So just so you know, that's the channel you're on and I don't know how often I'll make a video, but this is what I'm doing. So relationships. Okay, here's the message. There's a lot of misguidance um, out there on relationships as there is with absolutely everything. You know, but we're moving to higher and higher vibrations. And maybe I should take this hat off. My head's having a bad hair day. <laughs> um, but we're moving to higher and higher vibrations. And it's getting harder and harder and harder to hold on to um, negative relationships and negative energy and things like that. And what I really want um, to highlight that I'm seeing is from some from some really really great people that I admire and that I follow as a little bit because I really don't get on social media very much at all. Um, but the people that I that I have followed and like and I occasionally see their stuff about relationships and they're spiritual people. They're very like you know soul searching. They appear to be this way on their channels, you know, but everybody has a little ego running through them, right? Um, but the things that I'm hearing hearing being said are like, you know, these are the these are the things that you want in your relationship, you know, like great sex and personal responsibility and um, you know, compatibility and great communication and honesty and trust and you know, like if you don't have all these things, like what are you fucking wasting your time on these relationships for? Like, you deserve better. You, like, have to give yourself the most amount of self-love and, and you deserve the absolute best, you know? And that's what I see is, like, the guideline now for a relationship from this community. And then I saw this little video the other day that, that someone in that, you know, community had, had put up it, that said... You know, I'm going to tell you the status of your relationship in like 30 seconds or, or less, basically. And, but the, and the message that was, was given was if you don't feel good in your relationship, like if the person is triggering you, um, <laughs> that's the reality of your relationship. You know, it's not really good, basically, is what I'm hearing in that message. And I want to send a completely different message. I love to just turn things over because we live in a backwards world. And so if you want to see the reality and how you should really be doing stuff, look at everything mainstream, even these mainstream spiritual people who have probably been bought out by reptilians, a lot of them, that are actually, um, there is a spiritual agenda. You know, obviously they've infiltrated the spiritual community. And I'm not saying that all these people are saying this have been infiltrated by the reptilians. That's, it sounded like I said that. I did not mean that at all. What I meant to say is you really have to use your discernment because there are false spiritual people out there. But there are also a lot of spiritual, well-intentioned people that I even know personally, like friends of mine that are doing great work on themselves and really moving through this stuff. But they're still stuck in this one place of believing all the programming 
that we've received since we were small children and has been going on for thousands of years. That there's this, you know, prince out there, that there's, there's this twin flame, that there's this other, other body out on this earth at this time that's going to just make you one. It's gonna, they're gonna be so perfect. They're, everything is just gonna line up. The sex is gonna be great and the communication and they're gonna be so open. They're, they're basically just gonna be this mirror reflection of you. Um, I got news for you. They are already a mirror reflection of you. You cannot go out and find in that world what you are not yourself. There are, there's this great book I love. It's called um, The Seven Principles of Making a Marriage Work. And it's by John Gottman, PhD. And he also wrote Eight Dates, which my husband and I did. I, I think I did a video on that on my, a uh, couple years, a few years ago, um, about our experience with the Eight Dates book. And it was, it was really, really great. And so in this book, it talks about seven principles. Okay, so maybe you have the seven principles or you have the ability to, you're mature enough and emotionally developed enough where you got your seven principles down, right? Then you're probably going to reflect back out into the world the ability to also find that and see that because you're on target, okay? But if you suddenly find yourself in a relationship, like this little video clip I saw, uh, it, I got the impression that it was like, okay, this person had just started dating someone and was probably like really into them. And um, then suddenly the relationship started to reveal itself. Okay, because that's how relationships work. That's how the ego works, that's how we work. But you were, but this person seemed to be like, a, like you're saying you're really attracted to this person, you like them, there's a lot of value in that person. But the reality of the relationship is, you know, maybe you just, you don't feel valued in it. And so it's like the message I'm hearing is like, you know, you deserve better than that. Discard that and go, you just like self-love, right? Boundaries and, and just like be real with yourself. Be honest. You're not getting what you need. And all I'm hearing is it's not your fault. You know, it's not about you. It's just look at this guy. He's such an asshole. And you just really need to start being aware that your relationship is with an asshole. I mean, wake up. No, that's not the message. The message is this. That relationship is an exact reflection of yourself because we live in a holographic reality and our reality is reflected out there. So you can only attract what it is that you need to work on, okay? And it's such a, a reality of perfection that the traumas that are in you and the dense energy that's in you you can only turn them off, like turn off that, it's like open that valve and turn it off. The saying is like, you can only turn it off where you turn it off where it was turned on. So if like something happened um, to you where, I'm, I'm gonna just give you a real personal example. I just always think it's the best way to just to describe these sorts of things is just like a truly personal example. So I'm just going to get raw and real here and tell you, here's an example. When I was a kid, I'm the youngest of eight. Um, I never felt seen or heard, you know, I wasn't allowed to use my voice because it was the littlest one all the time. Right. And so my personality developed what, what became real for me, what became my beliefs because our mind, the way the holographic reality works is your mind, its job is to create a reality based on your beliefs. And we adopt our beliefs. We get this programming in our first seven years. So in my first seven years, I believed that I didn't have a voice. I believed that I, you know, I couldn't speak up or my voice wasn't important, right? So what happened is I then created a reality for myself where I was, your, my, my mind, my beliefs have to be created out in my reality. So I created relationships and situation 
long-term relationships where I didn't have a voice. I had a previous marriage. I'm married now. Um, but my previous marriage was 28 years long, and, the, and, and my ex-husband was very controlling. I didn't really have a, I did not have a voice, okay? So now I get into a new relationship with my new husband, okay? Five years we've been together, and I have found, kind of after that honeymoon effect sort of wore off, that there were threads of the same types of behaviors in my new husband as there were in my other husband. 95% less, you know, um, I had grown a lot myself personally before getting into this next relationship and I knew what I didn't want. But you can't see what you can't see about yourself and what you need to work on. And that's the beauty of relationships. If you are in a relationship, okay, my message to you right now is, in short, I'm going to just get to the point and then we'll talk more about it. But if you're in a relationship right now, it's a golden nugget. Use it to look at the triggers within the relationship. Use it to look at the behaviors of the other person in the relationship and how they're making you feel and start working on yourself. Don't run from this relationship because you deserve better and now you're looking for a guy who fucks you better or something or listens to you more or is more romantic. I don't know what the, what it ever it is that you're looking for, but I kind of think it's bullshit because we've been taught for eons and eons and eons to go find that other perfect partner and, and it's out there and I think it's bullshit. No, come here and look for partnerships. And if you really love somebody and you fell in love with them and you admire them, but then suddenly things get hard and you start seeing their dicky side and they start seeing your childish side, that's the time to show up with personal responsibility and start working your shit out. And if your partner is unwilling to take responsibility for their own stuff, that is also an opportunity for you. For me, I found myself in this relationship with my current husband with these challenges. And, and what I discovered about myself was many, I, I found many triggers down in there that were just wounds that were my shit that him talking to me in a certain way would trigger such emotions in me or him not complimenting me would trigger me in so many ways. But I was able to look at my own stuff. And under that is this incredible relationship that I have with my husband. But there are times that it is work. It's self-work. And I have to show up every time and I have to use my voice with him. So he's perfect for me because for, f I think I got married when I was like 47, for 47 years, I didn't have a voice in a relationship. And I was in a relation pretty well. My parents, I didn't have a voice. My siblings, I didn't have a voice. I had friends in high school I chose that I didn't have a voice. Like I have been doing this my whole life. And suddenly I decide to fucking wake up and I'm like, I'm not doing that again. And I say to my husband, you know, it's like we can continue to be in this relationship or not, but just know I will use my voice and I will tell you every time that I feel like you could say that in a nicer way, please. Like, no, thank you. Like, could you say that with a, with a different tone? But I also am loving and kind to his inner child, because when he's behaving that way, I know it's not about me. And it gives me an opportunity to be gentle and kind and loving to him, because clearly he must have, he's just running programs from his childhood. So it gives me an opportunity to, to treat him how I wanted to, I would like to be treated when I'm behaving badly. And we, foster this beautiful relationship together that is anything but perfect. And there's so much beauty and there's so much love in that. 
And I just feel like the message that's being sent is just not, it's not really correct. You know, and if the sex isn't great, if you were chose this relationship and you really love this person and you've committed to them and then you find this out, but you're kind of, man, it's not working and you don't know and you want it to be better. That's an opportunity for you maybe to delve into to what sex means for you and what are your programs around sex and what do you believe and what do you want to believe and and can you have an open conversation with a partner about sex and if you can't maybe that's the issue that you need to learn to use your voice to ask for what you need maybe it's there but you're just not willing to ask for it there are so many things that we can be learning in these relationships about ourselves there's so many opportunities for unconditional love and compassion and to show tolerance and to work on our boundaries and to see every our responsibility for everything in our life and to share that with somebody. And I just hate to see the stuff on the internet. Of I just feel like it's this throwaway culture that we, we're in and it's been infiltrated into the these beautiful, even like life coaches that I think do have some valuable things to say, but when it comes to relationships, clearly I don't think they've been in enough to know what they're really talking about. I've been in some long ass term relationships that have been difficult, but then worth it. And the things that we built together were worth it. Worth it, And the work I was able to do on myself was worth it. And the val there was so much value there. You know, and it's like, look for the value in your relationship, please. Look for the growth opportunities in your relationship. Buy a book, do something together. And if he doesn't want to do a damn thing, then you just take your energy and work on yourself and use his or her triggers to show you where there's still pain and where you need to show up for yourself. And maybe you created this relationship just so you could have the voice, just so you could keep using it and face fears that you couldn't face before and show up for yourself where you've never shown up before. Whatever it is in this relationship, the opportunities are great. And I guess what I just realized is it's like we're looking for love relationships just to be love relationships. And I say, um, you stumble upon some really just awesome fucking relationships that may, they're not all about just romantic love. I think that's a fucking fantasy. It's there. And I feel romantic love with my husband. Yes, but that's not what the whole relationship is about. It's not about this just romantic love all the time. It's about a life partnership of helping each other grow here. We're moving through ascension for God's sake. We're all growing incredibly. Reach out, hold your partner's hand, like let's move forward and, and grow and live and learn and love together and stop seeking for just this great sexual, romantic, hot, passionate fucking relationships. That is not what's important right now. Personal growth is what's important. The last video I did, I called it a 911. And damn it, this feels like a 911 to me as well. I love you all. Thank you so much for listening to me. Um, share my message. Reach out to me if you have questions. Um, I do coaching. I also offer free coaching to anyone who really feels like they need it or just needs somebody to talk to. I would never turn anyone away. I'm just simply here to help raise the vibration of the planet, to help us all move through ascension. Um, I'm not here for views, but please, you know, subscribe, share my videos just to get the message out. My guides guide me to, to do these, to do these videos. It's, I will, on, I only do them when I just feel like I have to drop everything and do it now. And <laughs> the last one I did, I think it was in the middle of dinner. This one, I was in the middle of cleaning a huge pile of dishes and it came, it comes in. So, um, that's what I'm doing here down in Mexico, just trying to share the love and share the light and help waken everyone up in, um, 
just by pointing out certain specific things that are going on, okay? And the things that you can take control of. So you can, can take control of the opportunities in your relationship. And I hope that you do that. If you have any questions, reach out to me, Lisa at Lisa Watson, Lisa at Lisa-Watson.com. I vowed not to edit these videos at all um, or put a lot of extra work into them, to my guides. I, so there will be no little fancy stuff going on um, in my videos. I love you all. Thank you so much. Go spread the light.